Yep. How are you? Good, you? I'm good. Tell me what's going on. So this morning, uh, I was going to work. It was like 5 a.m. and my truck was dead. So I jumped it and I went to work. <clears throat> and I got back, back to my shop from work at like, like, I don't know, like 3.30. And it was dead again. So then I had to get it jumped again. And then I went to AutoZone for them to test the battery. The battery was fine. The alternator was fine. And then I had them check my engine light code, which I knew what it was. I just haven't fixed the part yet. It was the active, it was the effective shutter assembly, I think it was called. Okay. And the code, uh, what's it called? It was something about repair active grill shutter assembly wiring. Okay. Is what it said. So that, that's what happened today with that. And I don't know what's going on with it. So. What size engine do you have? Uh, it's a 6 2. Okay. So are you trying to get this the battery drain fixed? Is that is that what's going on here? I don't know. I don't even know what's wrong with it. I don't know if it's the battery or what. Okay. So, but you said that they 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 load tested the battery, right? Yeah, I, I drove to AutoZone like ten minutes from my shop and it tested. It was good. It was a good battery, is what it said. Okay. And the charging system is working. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So if the battery's good and the alternator's good, but your battery is losing charge um, while the vehicle sits, you could have a battery drain or draw. So something is pulling current from the battery when the engine is, is turned off. That would be the most, I mean, likely cause. So you could do a what they call a battery drain or a draw test. Um, I can send you that test if you want to do it. Otherwise, they'll have to do it at a shop. But I did just pull up your vehicle here, and I pull, I plugged in the C0800 code. Um, this is interesting. Engine will not will crank over slow. There has been a new battery installed, which sounds like maybe could be related. Power steering control module C0800, K9 body control module, a couple other codes. This one was having. Refer to the latest version of GM Bulletin 18NA161 for testing. So the confirmed fix on this one was to replace the negative battery cable. So you may want to just make sure that the, the grounds are good, the ne negative cable is, isn't a problem. Um, yeah. Make sure that the battery is in fact draining and it's not the cable that's just losing or just has a bad connection. So I would, when the engine doesn't start, just go out and measure battery voltage, make sure you know it is low because if it's full, but the engine's not cranking over, it's acting like the battery is, is dead, well then we just, we could have an issue with this negative battery cable because it l looks to be a problem on this vehicle. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was, I think it had, it, I don't think it had any bolts this morning when I started it up. Okay. So I saw it on my dash and it said zero. Well, well again, the, the dash would be after your negative battery cable. So we, we, need, we need to check the battery itself. So I don't, I mean, I don't think it's going to be this negative cable. It, I haven't come across it to be that common, but I'm looking at here. Apparently it is, it is a fairly common problem, but they do have a, I'm <clears throat> looking at a technical service bulletin here from GM with this code and a number of other codes. Um, just make sure that the, the cables and connections are clean and tight and that's not, that's not the issue. So, and if, and if that's the case, and we just got a, a simple battery draw or drain, and then at that point, we would just have to run some tests. Um, maybe it's related to this code that's in the computer, that uh, the CO800-03, that's possible. Or maybe it's not even related at all. Um, if you want, I can send you, basically, it's, the, it's a battery draw test. You can basically put your test light in um, between the negative, negative battery post and the terminal, and then you know pull one fuse at a time and when the light goes off is when that's what the circuit the battery the drain is on if you want i can send you that yeah that'd be nice okay all right um, either you're gonna have to do it or a technician is gonna have to do it but okay. i'll send it to you 
I can send it over right now. Any other questions while we're on the phone? Um, no, that was, that was my only issue. Okay. All right. So you can just you can run this test and you can reply back if you have any questions or after you're in the test and let me know the results. But you know you you want to see after the vehicle you know powers down it's going to be like half hour, maybe even 45 minutes. But it should drop below 50 milliamps. You shouldn't have, see like one or two three amp four amp draw. That would be way too much. Gotcha. So, but I'll let you work on that and you can just reply back if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. Okay. All right, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Good luck. All right, thank you. You bet. Bye-bye.